Hi everyone, another short update on this Link TSI build. Uh, we made quite a lot of progress this week, so let's start with the, the paint shop. So after about two, two to three weeks worth of work, the both wings were ready to be painted. Um, and this is the stage where they've been edge primed and the, uh, the primer applied. And once the primer was applied, then uh, all the um, the transitions between the aluminium and the fiberglass tips were uh, sealed. There was a tiny bit of sealant placed, um, kind of Sika Flex type material. And um, uh, the painters, uh, Bob and Freya, they've done a brilliant job. Uh, I mean, it's a lot of work getting this prepared, um, all masked up. And um, on the wing tips, especially the f fiberglass parts, uh, took a lot of work. Uh, getting high build primer, sanding it down and um, building that back up again. Um, the base aluminium was, uh, wasn't was that bad um, but still uh, needed sanding uh, to get a, get the primer to stick and this is when uh, the uh, the final coat was applied, the clear coat was applied. Uh, there are still a few uh, bits remaining, um, the kind of vinyl accent lines are still to be added and my camera was playing up a bit uh, so that's uh, apologies for the images image quality but um, uh, the finish is quite good uh, um, they've done it's come out you know much be better than I expected so happy with that um, Uh, so the, the main color is like a silver, uh, a little bit pink when it looks uh, when when the light is low, but in bright sunlight it should come out uh, a nice uh, a nice silver, uh, and with the uh, the red wing tips and the fuselage will also be red at the top. Back at the hangar was the time to test fit the panel in in the aircraft, and uh, obviously this step is quite cr crucial in terms of the getting everything aligned this front composite has to be tightly held in place um, so that the uh, the dash can sit inside nicely and you have an even gap all the way around uh, where the windshield uh, gets attached and also this also sets the distance where that fuel selector uh, will sit so and then uh, it was taken off and then started working on the um, uh, wiring at the firewall forward. Um, so the master contactor, the ammeter shunt and the midwest fuse box all got put in place and um, the four gauge wire is quite tricky to work with. <laughs> um, and also the fuel selector got fully installed and, um, and the inside skins. Uh, that was one of the uh, big tasks uh, that, that was completed. Um, again, so that the cabin uh, went uh, seeker flex seal along that the channels on the side that was done before the step. Um, one thing to note was um, yeah have enough spacing here for the seat belts to go through. Um, again, a tiny bit of flanging is all you need. Um, and this piece here, the um, the. Uh, I don't know what that was called, but there was the two two pieces either side. It it actually I had to drill them out and take it out, and it sits better with the inside skin on on top of it. Uh, working on the panel is is much uh, it's it's much more fun. Um, uh, so I fitted the prop controller and the the fine course adjustment switch. Um, most of the work is done on the panel from Midwest, so it's only a few things. Uh, the cabin vent lever mechanism. Um, that uh, that connects this. Um, it's like a piano hinge. You have to make a Z bend on both ends, and use that um, the length adjusting uh, adjusting connector there. I mean, the instructions are a bit shoddy on this, so um, thought I'll show you the actual picture or images, and that attaches to the, these uh, two vent levers uh, on the panel. Um, again, showing the the prop controller all, all in place, and uh, also fitted the, uh, the the fan heater switch and the uh, and the other one and the other cabin heat vent lever. And on the five volts on the engine, uh, the big news is the engine mount is back and on. Um, so as you can see, the difference that it makes at that bottom. Uh, shape of that uh, 
uh, where that mount is it clears makes enough space to clear for the tur intercooler to be placed there where the turbo outlet comes out um, so that's all now done and James is now hooking up all the remaining bits on the engine most of them was done already all the fuel lines and coolant lines which had to be taken out um, the master contactor next got a 3d printed part uh, which will be like a cover for it um, and the and I've also attached this uh, the cabin heat uh, uh, the, c the control for the the valve that switches the uh, hot and cold also another big task on the list was the door latch mechanisms it's these are quite tricky to do um, even though my canopy is not painted I got them done I haven't riveted those bracket in place so I can take them off before for, for paint um, the right wing the right side door it fitted all fine the left one there's a bit of a problem which will, I'll try and put a video I'll address in the next video and uh, last update on this was the the prop and uh, uh, and the spinner got fitted um, so it's now now time to f cut the cowling so until next time take care everyone bye